Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the P Tangent Force node. And before I jump in, um, I know I got a lot of people that are asking for me to do like actual like tutorials slash examples for each of these emitter nodes. But it, it's kind of impossible to do it just on one because like I said, you need them all to create something worthwhile. And uh, that and I'd like to keep these a little short because there's so many and I promise at the end of these and I want to say we got maybe two or three left to do um, once we finish all these emitter nodes for the particles, I will do one tutorial that's not necessarily a node breakdown, but we will use every one of these particle nodes just about every one of these particle nodes to create something that you would actually use for a commercial project. So. I'll do one tutorial where we use all the nodes and do a project that a client may ask you to actually do. So we'll run through that tutorial once I finish all these P emitter nodes and I'll keep it in the uh, daily node breakdown uh, playlist. So it's kind of a uh, final node breakdown of all the particle emitter nodes, but I'm not going to break them down again. We'll just go over settings and what to do and We'll walk through it so i promise we will make a tutorial on a commercial project using the particle emitter the 2d particle emitter system so moving on particle tangent force so let's go ahead and bring in a particle tangent force so shift space p tangent force and we're going to drop it in after our emitter now what the particle tangent force node does is it applies a tangential force to the particles and the force is applied basically perpendicularly to the vectors between the tangent and the particles itself so in order to see this i'm gonna have to kind of play it so let's play and right now we've got our region set to all so it's affecting everything but as i start moving this gizmo around for the tangent force, you can see how it's affecting those particles. So this can drive how those particles react and how they look and how they interact with uh, everything else. So that's what the particle tangent node does. Now on the controls themselves, you've got a translation, which is translating your gizmo. You have conditions, so the probability of that affecting and this one here is the node I use probability the most on. For example, let me uh, let me go ahead and change that and let's get kind of a look going. And if I start changing this probability and dropping it down, you can see that's completely driving the speed and change of your particles altogether. It's still driving them in the same direction, but it's slowing them down or changing that look. So the particle tangent force node is definitely a node you'll want to play with your probability. You can see how slow that's moving. If I bump it up, it's speeding it up because the node itself doesn't have the ability to change the speed or the force applied so it's just one force and it's consistent so under the conditions you also have sets in your age under the region you have your typical region settings so what region i mean uh, your region mode how you want it to interact when inside when outside and your region types we have all the same region types so if i change this to sphere and move this over it's only going to affect the particles within that sphere so you can use that to try different looks of your emitter so that is the p tangent force node i will see you in the next node breakdown 